Right, thank you for coming into this special episode of Keeping It Cartel. It's not Keeping It Cartel, it's a reveal. Um, we sent a load of stuff from Nevins, his new line of juices. So as uh, my postman decided to fuck up and didn't give it to me in time for the Simon show, I thought I'd do him his own, uh, his own video. So I'm not in my usual space, I'm in the corner of the room. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down and have a look and then give him a test. So we will go down now. Give me a second. Hopefully this works. And we are down. Um, this is the boxes. Everything comes in. So a nice, nice black box. Inside, you get greeted by this little card. Neon Source by NM Labs. And a little thank you card from him as well, which is awesome. Also, this was made by Scott Woods. It's all handmade out of wood. It's description cards. Um, it says on the back, custom work by SW Projects. But if you open it up, you can see it's well made. Oh, hang on. I have to do this off camera. So there we go. You can pull the lids off. And it comes with these cards, which give you a description of each of the liquids that are inside and we'll go through these one by one and inside it's a great presentation here we have the ginge we have lemon bar we have this is the one i always i really want to try the slimer and we have the snob and also tucked away in here are you get some little shots in here as well which are quite nice so you get one for each one making it three milligram and all all this stuff here so if we move this to one side it's going to get everywhere today we're going to be testing it on we have the og recoil on the Odin 250C, Nightmare 25 on the Heavy Hitter. We have the Apocalypse 24, or 25, I can never remember, on the Denali. And we have the Series Axial Pro on the Trio Life. Everything's been wicked with the greatest vaping experience, Cloud 9 Cotton. If any of you, I've shown it so many times, but if any of you haven't seen it, great bit of cotton. So what we'll do is we'll go through these one by one and um, we'll give them a go. So off the bat, if we start with the ginge, so in the ginge, if you look at these cards, is a Jamaican style tiff, uh, sticky ginger cake accompanied by a sweet vanilla custard. We have the snob, which is... A fruity medley of mixed red berries, including strawberries, raspberries, and cranberry, all tied together with guava and a sweet champagne. We have lemon bar, which is a warmingly spiced lemon Madeira cake drizzled with icing and dripping with lemon curd. And finally, the one I want to try the most, we have the Slimer. I know this looks funny, is because we have a green screen, and where it's green, it goes see-through. So that's just me. Uh, a sweet and zingy blast of frozen lime candy blended into a slushy. So they're the ones that we're going to try today. So if we move these out the way, and we will get going. So first off the bat, we are going to go for the series. Really badly wicked. And these are a pair of quad core staggered fuse Claptons. In there, we are going to go for the Ginge. I'm not a Ginger fan, but let's give it a go, see if it tastes as it says on the tin. So if we just juice these up. What we will do is we'll jump up to normal camera so you can see my ugly mug while we have a vape. 
Let me change these cameras over. And we're here. So this is the Ginge. Let's put some more on that. Make sure we're up and running. Oh, that's strong. Let it flow open. Drip a bit more. Yeah, it does very, very, very much taste like a Jamaican style ticky, uh, sticky ginger cake. I'm, I, I'm not getting too much of the sweet vanilla custard, but I know my taste buds are knackered and they're not very good, but it does taste very cakey and I do get the, um, the ginger. So this one is pretty, uh, spot on. It's not my, not in my wheelhouse. But I think in an MTL or a uh, low ohm, no high ohm, low wattage, like a boro chamber, that's going to sing a lot better than because this is rather hot. What we do to add a little bit to this, what we're going to do now is I'm going to add a bit of background music. So there we go. So a bit different. Um, I really like this. It's it is quite gingery. I do get a cake. I don't get the custard. A little bit, tiny, tiny little bit. If you're into something a bit different, a bit desserty but very unique, I would say the ginge is a very good liquid. I'm going to steal what Simon was doing on his show because I didn't get a chance to do it. For a profile, I'll give it probably an eight only because I don't personally taste the uh, the custard on it. But I think that may be just me or the device I'm using because it's, it's quite rowdy and hot. So I might lose that on there, which I don't think I should, but probably. Um, I do get very cakey. Uh, I do get the ginger in there as well. So I would say, would I buy it again? Um, if you gave it to me without telling me what it was and let me vote for art, yes, I would I would buy a bottle. So now I would say I would go and buy it, but I think I'm running it on the wrong device. So, and it's pretty spot on. So that's great. So if you like anything that's a bit different, bit cakey, bit spicy, I would say go get the ginge. So that's the ginger one done. So what we're going to do now is we'll move on to the next one. We'll put him back in his little case. So we're going to go for the lemon bar. And the lemon bar is a womanly spiced lemon Madeira cake drizzled with icing and dripping in lemon curd. I have no idea what a Madeira cake is. I've heard of it, but uh, let's see. I'm not if I'm honest, I'm not a lemon vape person. I do find it generally tastes like washing up liquid or very chemically. So let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Hope you're enjoying the background music. Oh, let's, get this. let's turn this up. Turn it all the way up. Mm. For what I'm really not a lemon vape. I've tried many, many lemon juices, liquids, and I'm it's not up my alley at all. But
give me a minute. That's really nice. I'm getting a lemon, a weird lemon cake, but it's a, it's a the type of cake. But I'm guessing that's what Madeira tastes like. I'm getting lemon curd. And I'm getting icing. I'm not getting chemical taste. Sorry, that's probably quite close. I'm not getting chemical taste. I'm not getting that horrible washing up liquid taste that I normally get from lemon. Spot on. Spot on. So this was the lemon bar uh, for taste. Give it a nine. Um, for profile, spot on, seriously spot on. If you would have given that to me and asked me to try it, I could have told you that was like a lemon cake with like lemon curd and a bit of icing, but I wouldn't have been able to tell you what sort of cake it was, but I can taste it, it's cakey. Um, that is spot on 10. Would I buy it again? Um, if you would have told me it was lemon off the bat, I would have said no. I want to spend a bit more time with it because I reckon getting this in the right build. I reckon this is a grower. So that is the lemon bar. And then we're going to go on to put this one back in. We're going to go for the snob. The snob is a fruity medley of mixed red berries, including strawberries, raspberries, and cranberry, all tied together with guava and sweet champagne. I haven't had champagne in many years, so it probably tastes different to what I think of champagne that tastes like nowadays. This could be interesting. Rather than just pissing liquid all down the side of my RDA. Oh, let's go. Oh, mm. that's good. There's no cold in that at all, or iced, or however you want to call it, which is really good. I like my iced liquids, but I don't think that needs it. I can actually taste the strawberry, raspberry. I've never had a cranberry before, so I couldn't tell you whether I could taste it. I could taste another berry and a hint of guava. Um, I don't think I'm tasting the champagne. A little bit. But. Oh, that is so nice. If any of you are into any sort of berry liquids, strawberries, red berries, raspberries, cranberry, berry berries, any sort of berry berry, whatever you're into, get yourself a bottle of this because this is fucking outstanding even if you want it's got no ice in it if you want ice just get an ice nick shot and Oh, that could seriously be, and it may even be 
an all day vape. I don't think I could get bored of that at all. As it stands, for me, that is the best one so far. Me personally, the others do taste like what they sound in, but this is heading in my profile. And uh, actually, before we move on to the next one, I'm gonna have a couple more puffs on this. Oh. I just realized I've started making noises. <laughs> <laughs> this is outstanding. Um, yeah, full marks and then some. Every commercial shop needs to have that on their lineup. Right, I'll move on to the next one, but I'm saving that one. Right, the last one we're going to do is Slimer, as you can see. Oh, you won't be able to see it on that one because the green screen's still on. Um, this is, so hang on, before we do that, let's put it back in this little box. A sweet and zingy blast of frozen lime candy blended into a slushy. This this could be an interesting one. This This could be the one. If it's anything like the snob, I think I'm going to have to uh, get on the website and go order some because it needs to be done. It smells incredible. Right, let's fill this up. And we got vapors. Right, let's go. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm. This better have some upbeat music. Here we go. Let's, let's upbeat this. This is it. This is this is my all day mode. This is outstanding. I don't know what you've done. It's mine. Evans, mate, I don't, this is, this is, everyone needs a bottle of this. I get every bit, every bit of the sweet and zingy frozen lime candy and the uh, slushy. Oh, that, that does get cold after a while. The more you vape it, as Phil was saying, the more you vape it, the colder and colder it gets. And if you want to stop don't want to get any colder just take five and then vape again and then just get it up to that level but i'm sorry i'm gonna have to go again yeah, i've used quite a bit of this already give me a minute Oh. That is very cold. That is a 
a perfect liquid. That is perfect. Nothing needs to change. Quite it's so cold, make me nose run. Nothing needs to change. You don't need to go anywhere else. If you like lime, or if you've never tried lime, you need to go head over to Neon Source, which is NM Labs, UK. Get yourself a slimer. I'm gonna have one more while we're here. Unbelievable liquid. In order, slime up all day long. Snob. And then I'm gonna go for probably ginger and then lemon bar. Just in order of my likeness. These two are up there. These two are amazing. These two are great, but just not in my wheelhouse. But I reckon if I vape them a little bit, um, I will, uh, I'll come around and then I'll, I'll start to enjoy them. They're very nice, but just not, not my profile of vaping. Well, guys, that's 20 minutes in. Sorry you've been put in the cartel corner. It's just that, oh my God, my whole living room is, I've managed to smoke it out. It's like a seventies dance floor in there. <laughs> I can't even see my wife. She's sitting in the corner. Before I say my goodbyes, I'm gonna have a sweet sip of Skull Crusher coffee. Best coffee out there, everybody. I don't care if I get a strike for this. Neon Sauce NM Labs .co.uk. They came out on Saturday, which is yesterday or the day before i don't remember what day of the week it is and go get i think they're 10 pound a bottle or they've got bundles <coughs> so make sure you go show some love go hit up um nevin's mixologist on instagram uh, go hit up ancient elixir and neon sauce on instagram make sure you go show him some love and buy a couple of bottles off him you will not regret it so, until next time, pardon me, until next time, be nice to each other, don't be horrible. See you later.